Let me bring you back to the role of the oligarchs in London and, and the assets that they've purchased. I want to be absolutely clear. Uh, a lot of Russian money has bought high-profile British assets, football clubs, newspapers, property. Are you really saying that a lot of that was dirty money? It's absolutely correct. I just confirmed that they are dirty money and uh, Russia, Russian oligarchs, Russian rich people, not everyone definitely is, is criminal, uh, but uh, among of them there are many people who made money in absolutely dirty way. Uh, and uh, example which I gave you as far as Iceland is concerned, just conform realistically uh, that Putin and his cronies made absolutely dirty money and tried to invest this money all over the world, including Britain. And did they do that as a way of laundering the money or to gain power? No, I think just, uh, just uh, okay, uh, I think there are two aspects. Uh, on the one hand, definitely it's laundering of the money. On the other hand, you know well that Russia tried uh, to, um, to control, first of all, uh, energy uh, resources, uh, energy, energy uh, uh, assets, uh, resources and uh, uh, transportation. And definitely, uh, when Russia tried to, uh, to, to do that, it's absolutely, absolutely natural reaction, uh, try to understand what happened then. And I think that there are both a laundering money and uh, attempt to control uh, as much as possible.